1931, the Lord appeared to a young Polish nun by the name of Faustina Kowalska and asked her to have an image of him painted with a very specific devotion. He told her, The two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water which makes souls righteous, and the red for the blood which is the life of souls. These two rays issued forth from the depths of my tender mercy when my agonized heart was opened by lance on the cross." She did as he asked, also adding a phrase that he asked her to include in the image, Jesus, I trust in you. This image and these revelations came to a young Polish man by the name of Karol Wojtyla, who in 1978 was elected Pope John Paul II. And 20 years ago this April, he entrusted to the whole church Faustina and her writings when he canonized her, making the second Sunday of Easter Divine Mercy Sunday giving with us alongside that the devotion of the chaplet of divine mercy. This is something which a novena goes every year from Good Friday to Divine Mercy Sunday, but we can pray at any time of the year. It's using an ordinary rosary, and as you work your way around after the opening prayers, the simple prayers really speak to the heart of what the divine mercy means. You pray the prayers, Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. On the large our Father beads, and on the Hail Mary beads you repeat, For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And as you make your way around the chaplet, you entrust all of your worries, anxieties, fears, and those of the whole world to the divine mercy incarnate, which is Christ himself. We find we're able to give over those worries to him and to be embraced by his loving and merciful arms with those rays that overcome and sanctify our souls. Before he declared it, John Paul once said, Those who sincerely say, Jesus, I trust in you, find comfort in their anxieties and fears. And there's nothing which man needs more than divine mercy. That divine mercy raises man above his weakness to the infinite heights to the holiness of God. This is a short devotion. We can pray daily or any time that we feel the need. The great hour of mercy is three o'clock each day when we hold that Christ died on the cross. But in praying this, we come to the realization that we, along with St. Faustina, can come to evermore understand the words, Jesus, I trust in you.